From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of cultures, traditions, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path to development. Namaskar viewers, welcome back to another episode of My India. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra and in today's episode, we're going to offer you a glimpse into India's cultures, diversity along with the developments happening in and around the world. The sacred month of Ramadan is more than just a fast. As the month is observed with joy and fervor, the entire country witnesses itself immersing in the spirit of devotion, self-reflection and generosity. Muslims observe Ramadan by fasting from dawn to dusk, devoting themselves to prayer and charitable acts. The festival is also a moment to gather for celebratory meals with family and friends, stranding bonds and sharing the blessings of the season. Take a look. India, a multicultural country, dazzles with festive lights day and night owing to its regional and ethnic diversity. This vibrant spirit is celebrated throughout the year during dazzling array of fairs and festivals. As the most awaited sacred Islamic month of Ramzan has finally begun, the entire nation is soaked in the ocean of spiritualism, liberating love and kindness to the world. Ramzan or Ramadan is a month that not only commemorates the 30-day long fast, iftar, tarvi, acts of charity and the festive atmosphere, but also involves gathering with family and friends for a celebratory meal. Ramzan is a time when Muslims abstain from all worldly activities and focus more on spiritualism, self-reflection, self-control, self-discipline and encouraging acts of generosity. Ramzan means to stop. Whatever is bad in a person, whatever is bad in a person, stop. Allah has given us a reason for Ramzan and we keep it for 30 days. In which we have a reason for मतलब रमजान सिर्फ ऐसा नहीं है कि भूखा रहना रमजान में जैसे आंखों का कानों का जुबानों का और कदमों का हमारे हाथों का हर चीज से रुकना किसी को बुरा नहीं करना किसी को भला नहीं करना और नमाज पढ़ना जकात देना हज करना जो बकरीद में आता है ट्रेडिशनली द फास्ट इज ब्रोकन विद डेट्स एंड वाटर फॉलोइंग द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद this is followed by a full iftar meal depending on cultures and regions. During the holy month, Muslims observe a daily fast, also known as Rosa, from sunrise to sunset, abstaining from food and water. Following that, they offer namaz and dua to Allah and break their fast by performing iftar with a hearty meal after the sun sets, while they start their daily fast with suhoor, the meal consumed before sunrise. People rejoice in the moment with their family and friends while sharing food and a strong connection with them. हम यहाँ पे आए हैं जामे मस्जिद में आज इफ्तार मनाने के लिए अपनी फैमिली के साथ। ये तीस दिनों का होता है जिसमें हम सनराइज होने से पहले पहले हम अपना खाना पीना खत्म कर देते हैं और मगरिब यानी के जब सनसेट पूरे कंप्लीट हो जाता है जब अजान होती है तो हम अपना रोजा अफ्तार कर लेते हैं तो औरतें इसके लिए ज्यादातर चाहती हैं कि वो किचन में जाती हैं खाना बनाती हैं और मर्द भी ऐसा नहीं है कि वो नहीं हाथ बटाते हैं जब उनको फुर्सत मिलती है तो वो सब मिलकर के अफ्तार करते हैं अफ्तार घर में या जहां जा रहे हैं वहां कहीं जा रहे हैं वहां पे अफ्तार खोलते हैं तो ये सब बहुत एक अच्छा बहुत ही खूबसूरत तरीके से ये निजाम चलता है The occasion also witnesses markets shimmering with sparkling lights extending their warmth across faces, bringing smiles to people's faces. On the other side, the festival also provides opportunities for both local vendors and shopkeepers to earn an additional income. Moreover, the holy month observes an everyday hustle and bustle of people at prominent places like Jama Masjid, 
where people come for shopping and buy items for iftari and ramadan 12 mahine mein ek mahina hamare paas hota hai ye sirf society ko world ko aur logon ko ye janne ke liye ki bahut sare log pure saal bhooke rehte hain to ye mehsoos kiya jata hai ki bhook kya hota hai allah ne isliye hame diya hai taki hum logon ko samajh sake और इसलिए तीस रमज़ान सिर्फ फीलिंग होता है वैक्यूमाइज होता है दी होली मंथ ऑल्सो इनकरेज मुस्लिम टू रीड द इंटायर कुरान विच कम्प्राइज थर्टी सेक्शन ओवर द थर्टी डेज ऑफ रमदान इंस्पायरिंग दम टू प्रीच लव एंड पीस इन सोसाइटी फेस्टिवल्स लाइक दीज नॉट ओनली गिव अ ग्लिम्स इन टू इंडिया रिच कल्चरल हेरिटेज बट ऑल्सो cultivate a feeling of understanding and respect for other community moving on artificial intelligence is no longer a luxury it's everywhere today from smartphones and computers to smart watches everything is ai embedded while some jobs may be affected by its emergence in diverse sectors like agriculture education and healthcare AI is also expected to create new employment opportunities. Take a look. Today artificial intelligence has become a necessity for everyone as we all are connected to it in some way or the other. Gadgets like smartphones, smartwatches and computers today one can easily get their work done just on a command. due to the inbuilt artificial intelligence in devices to be more precise ai is an imitation of human intelligence which has the ability to think like humans and is used as a part of computers and machines ai research has been highly successful in developing effective techniques for solving a wide range of problems from game playing to medical diagnosis understanding the growing importance of ai in this age of innovation India is actively promoting its use across various sectors including agriculture, education, security and healthcare. Located in Haryana's Faridabad is Asia's largest hospital which treats cancer with the help of artificial intelligence and is proving to be beneficial both for doctors and patients. This AI powered machinery treats cancer within duration of 2 to 3 minutes. which the traditional machinery take 3 to 4 days manually to start the process of radiation for cancer treatment computer automatically ye batane ki kshamta rakhta hai ki kahan kidhar se beam dali jaye aur organ aur tumor ko kitna bachaya jaye usme kitna naptol kiya jaye ye already karne ki kshamta rakhta इससे आज की डेट में वर्ल्ड ओवर इलाज हो भी रहा है एंड इसके यूज़ की वजह से जो पेशेंट को ट्रीटमेंट चालू करने का टाइम है जो एक एक टाइम पे एक हफ्ता दस दिन लगते थे उसको कम करके एक या दो दिन किया जाता है लाइक दी हेल्थ केयर सेक्टर मेनी कंपनीज इन स्टार्टअप आर बींग इस्टेब्लिश इन दंट्री टू प्रोमोट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इन अदर सेक्टर्स एज वेल This is expected to bring a big change in this sector in future. While innovation is increasing in the country, it is also proving to be a big opportunity for many young entrepreneurs and founders. With that, India is witnessing a surge of companies and startups employing AI across various industries. This is expected to significantly transform these sectors in the future. India's booming innovation is also creating opportunities for young entrepreneurs and founders. फ्यूचर काफ़ी अभी बहुत मतलब बड़ा फ्यूचर हो गया इसका क्योंकि सब कुछ ए आई नेबल्ड है अब तो एक फ़ोन से लेकर अगर हम कहें पढ़ने लिखने की चीज़ें बहुत सारी ए आई नेबल्ड है और अगर ये टेक्नोलॉजी मार्केट में और ग्रो कर ग्रो करती है इंस्टीट्यूशन तक जाती हैं कॉलेज तक जाती हैं तो उनको सीखने का एक नया तरीका मिल जाएगा ए के थ्रू तो मुझे लगता है ए काफ़ी हेल्प करेगी आने वाले यूथ को और सबको The Global Partnership on Artificial Intelligence Summit 2023 organized at the Bharat Pavilion in capital New Delhi was a big step for the future of artificial intelligence. 
It was inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who also visited the Global AI Expo, where the progress of growing technology and innovation in the country was showcased. Aaj Bharat AI talent aur AI se jude new ideas ka sabse pramukh player hai. भारत के युवा टेक एक्सपर्ट्स रिसर्चर्स एआई लिमिट्स को एक्सप्लोर कर रहे हैं भारत में हम एक बहुत ही जोश से भरी हुई एआई इनोवेशन स्पिरिट देख रहे हैं Global Partnership on Artificial Intelligence that is GPAI was started in June 2020 It includes a total of 28 member countries and the European Union. India is one of its founding members which have been playing an important role in fulfilling the goals of this organization. Representatives of various countries who came to the summit also have high expectations from India regarding the future of AI. I knew a lot of uh, things uh, uh, the initiatives taken by the Indian government. Uh, which is uh, actually leading the the uh, uh, world efforts to accommodate uh, the uh, AI solutions into the society. AI mission has been started to promote artificial intelligence in India, through which strong computing capacity will be established in the country. This mission aims to provide new opportunities for startups and entrepreneurs by promoting the use of AI in key sectors like agriculture, healthcare, security and education. According to statistics, the AI market in India was 3.1 billion US dollars in 2020, which can reach 7.8 billion dollars by 2025. what india has been saying for now several uh, months and years about making sure that the internet and indeed every emerging technology is deployed in a safe and trusted manner is a thought that most countries are now coming around to and agreeing with the expansion of ai will push the nation forward towards technological advancement it will make work easier in many areas and help the economy grow while the jobs may be affected due to this AI is also expected to create new employment opportunities. And now some of the stories that made news recently. Bollywood actresses sizzled at the final day of the Lakme Fashion Week held in India's showbiz hub Mumbai. Well I think what's best about Lakme Fashion Week is it um, lets all these designers you know show their talent their artistry um and we have so much talent in our country so we need this these kind of platform platforms where they can show it not only for India but also globally you know uh, it goes everywhere and um, I feel very proud being an Indian when I that was what I was feeling when I was walking down the ramp Actresses including Madhuri Dixit, Ananya Pande and Janvi Kapoor walked down the ramp and posed before fashion enthusiasts. Pande who walked for Indian designer Rahul Mishra wore a black dress and black boots to make a fashion statement at the ramp. Dixit who was the show stopper for Indian designer Rana Gill wore a black embroidered blazer set. Such platforms provide Indian designers the opportunity to exhibit their talent and artistry she said. The 5 day fashion week began on March 13 and featured top designers from all over the country. Merchandise including water guns and masks bearing Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's face is a hit among shoppers as they throng markets ahead of celebrations of Hindu festival of colors Holi in northern Prayagraj and Ayodhya cities. Ye Modi ji is samay charcha mein aap log bhi jante hain to Modi ji ke naam se ye pichkariyan bazar mein bahut bik rahi hai. 
Local markets are flooded with props dedicated to PM Modi and Uttar Pradesh State Chief Yogi Adityanath in the run up to the festival. Celebrated at the onset of spring, Holi holds a mythological importance that of the triumph of good over evil. It is also associated with the eternal love of the Hindu Lord Krishna and Radha and the right of colors. For the first time, people of the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir witnessed a spectacular Formula 4 racing event. Renowned Formula car drivers showcased their skills with exhilarating races and daredevil stunts. First ever Formula 4 car racing event in Srinagar was lauded by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Sharing some glimpses of the event, he took to the Platform X and wrote, This is very heartening to see. PM Modi also said that India offers great opportunities for motorsports to thrive and Srinagar is right on the top. Kashmir's divisional commissioner also said that the event showcased Badalta Kashmir. Moving on, as the Ramadan festival is underway, India is once again witnessing numerous stories signifying the love and harmony cultivated among communities as they celebrate the holy month together with fervor and gaiety. Take a look. India, a land where unity and brotherhood are deeply ingrained in its age-old value system and traditions, has always cherished its roots through fairs and festivals, fostering peace and harmony in society. A country with diverse culture and religions, India is currently celebrating Ramadan, an Islamic holy month that preaches generosity and kindness to others. In this spirit, as markets across cities are adorned with glittering lights and daily festive preparations, numerous stories from across the country emerge where the festive fervor transcends religious and cultural divides. Recently, in one instance, the country witnessed an interfaith delegation led by the Indian Minorities Foundation organizing an Dawate Iftar party for members of the Muslim community at Delhi's Hazrat Nizamuddin Aulia Darga, which was also attended by people from communities such as Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist, Christian, Jain and Parsi. The holy month of Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar which began on March 12th. हम सबको मुबारकबाद देते हैं इस दरगाह हजरत निजामुद्दीन रोले के आस्थाने से और एक भारत श्रेष्ठ भारत ये नारा जो है इसके साथ अपने वजीर आजम के साथ शाना बशाना कंधे से कंधा मिला के खड़े हुए हैं। The Davide Iftar event served as a beacon of hope and inclusivity amid a diverse and interconnected world. Muslim communities alongside representatives from other religious communities and ambassadors of Muslim countries sat together to partake in the Iftar feast, furthering the government's vision of transforming India into Viksit Bharat. This event underscored a collective prayer for global peace, embodying the spirit of inter-religious cooperation and mutual respect. मुझे बहुत खुशी मिल रही है हर हिंदू मुसलमान के साथ आज अफ्तार करेंगे इससे खुशी के बाद क्या हो सकती है आज हमारा सारा देश हिंदुस्तान के एक साथ हम लोग हैं और रमजान का महीना बहुत खुशियों का महीना होता है बरकत का महीना होता है As the holy month of Ramadan is underway markets across Indian cities are witnessing a heavy rush of residents flocking to buy essential items and festive delicacies the markets are brimming with high-quality dates, offering dozens of varieties as Muslims around the world extensively use dates during iftar. According to Islamic tradition, dates hold significant importance and breaking fast with dates is preferred by many. Moreover, the festival also sees workers from different communities collaborating to fulfill the demands of the religious group such as supplying vermicelli and sootfeni, which are used as a part of the worship rituals. 
रमजान का समय चल रहा है अभी यहाँ पर हम लोग सेवाई बना रहे हैं और ये ईद और बकरीद में बिकती हुई है और ये गंगा जमुना का पानी से बनता है इधर तो सुन्नत है नबी सलासम की सुन्नत है इसमें अल्कोहल वगैरह नहीं होता है कुछ और परफ्यूम जब हम ग्यारह महीने इस्तेमाल करते हैं तो लोग परहेज ही करते हैं कि रमजान में अल्कोहल वाला परफ्यूम इस्तेमाल ना करें खास कर रमजान में Festivals like these serve as a medium to promote love and harmony within society while fostering a sense of belonging among individuals. Ramadan is a prime example where one can witness the levels of understanding, compassion and kindness towards others. And now some of the stories from the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. The Peruvian Ministry of Culture received 4600 items of cultural property repatriated from the America and Europe bringing the total to 5445 cultural objects repatriated in the last 2 years. La cantidad de bienes que se están devolviendo en en esta ocasión son eh de 4600. De esas 4645 son piezas individuales y 4555 son fragmentos. Y respecto del textil inca, eh es una pieza completa, es muy raro de encontrar una pieza textil inca eh digamos completa. A veces se pueden encontrar fragmentos. The objects repatriated from Germany, the United States of America, Italy, the Netherlands, Portugal and Switzerland were handed over by Foreign Minister Javier Gonzalez Olechea. The items recovered include feathered garments, textiles and antique ceramics. This robotic arm could soon be going into space with an important mission to grab old satellites and other space debris floating around the Earth's orbit. The robot's been developed by Orbital Debris Removal Startup Astroscale with a vision to create a safe and sustainable development of space. And with no set norms for military space behavior, some fear a potential space weapon attack that could generate far more debris. At stake are billions of dollars in assets. The orbital devices crucial to navigation and smartphone maps, text messaging, calls and internet connections that are used by industries and people globally. Governments and investors are seeking solutions and investing in ways to tackle the messy orbital environment. Tokyo-based Astroscale with subsidiaries in the US and Britain is one of them. The company is testing a device known as Active Debris Removal ADR. It is designed to latch onto defunct satellites and drag them toward Earth's atmosphere for a fiery disposal. But this is not an easy task. Astroscale is also looking at how to refuel satellites while they are still in space. Right now when a satellite runs out of fuel its mission is over. Shave says that the company hopes to have an ADR craft in orbit within the next couple of years. Masaharti Gofran Thamer roams the narrow streets of Mosul's old city waking up Muslims to have their pre-dawn meal during the holy month of Ramadan. Banging on a drum just before the sun ushers in a new morning, Thamer calls people to wake up for suhoor and the morning prayers. The 32-year-old said it was life-threatening for him to practice this traditional Ramadan ritual after radical Sunni Muslim insurgents seized control of most of Iraq's second largest city of Mosul in 2014. The centuries-old tradition of Misaharti lives on despite of technological advances like alarm clocks and is part of the festive spirit of the fasting month of Ramadan.
And lastly, let's journey to India's northern state of Uttar Pradesh, renowned for its vibrant Braj ki Holi. As the state brims with festive fervor during Holi, people from around the globe flock to destinations like Mathura, Vrindavan, Gokul and Barsana to immerse themselves in the joyous celebration. Here they partake in traditions such as the playful Lathamar and Fulowali Holi, where participants drench each other in vibrant hues of colors. Let's revel in the spirit of unity, joy and cultural richness. Men drench women with colors, while women wielding batons playfully hit the men to drive them away. This is the famous and traditional Latmar Holi, celebrated in the historical towns of Barsana and Nandgaon, also known as the towns of Radha and Krishna respectively. Thousands of devotees from all corners of India and abroad gathered in Mathura and Vrindavan to partake in holy festivities, each region celebrating with unique traditions. From the boisterous Latmar Holi in Barsana to the floral extravagance of Fulowali Holi and the sweet indulgence of Laddu Holi, the festival epitomizes a fusion of culture, tradition and history. During the celebrations, women wheel long sticks called lathis to playfully strike the men, who shield themselves, reenacting ancient customs and commemorating Latmar Holi. This ritual symbolizes the playful teasing of Hindu Lord Krishna by the gopis, reviving Hindu mythology with fervor. हम हर वर्ष यहाँ पे उत्सव मनाने आते हैं महाराज जी की कृपा से और ब्रज की होली की शुरुआत बने में तो धाम से ही होती है जहाँ पे आपको हर होली का अनुभव देखने को मिलेगा जैसे कि लटमार होली, लड्डू होली, फूलों की होली, तेजस्वी की फूल की होली, जहाँ सब चीजें केमिकल फ्री हैं कुछ भी नुकसान बाएं नहीं है और डोला उत्सव हमारा रात को रहता है और आज का जो अनुभव है वो विश्व में सबसे बेस्ट होली मानते हैं हम सब और मारा जी के साथ संतों के साथ बहुत ही आनंद में उत्सव रहता है आज मेरे ठाकुर जी की पहली होली है हमारे साथ आए हैं और कैसी भी सिचुएशन हो मतलब कैसी भी सिचुएशन हो उनकी कृपा से वो बुला ही लेते हैं हम कौन होते आने वाले वो ही हमें यहाँ पे बुलाते हैं और अपनी कृपा बरसाते हैं Recreating the legend of Lord Krishna and Radha playing Holi with flowers, devotees in various places gathered to celebrate Phoolo ki Holi, showering flowers on one another. People were also witnessed waiting in queues for laddus at temples as priests marked laddu Holi. Yeah, it's a beautiful place, lots of colours, lots of people. Um, yeah, good vibes. Um, yeah, just enjoying it, soak it in, taking pictures, and yeah, just learning about Indian Holi. Holi is not merely a festival of colors, but a celebration of life itself, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring power of love, forgiveness, and renewal. And that's all we have for you this week. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra and it's a goodbye from the entire production team.